In this video, we cover how to conduct a rapid HIV test using an oral fluid sample. Testing sites can choose from multiple CLIA waived FDA approved rapid HIV test brands on the market in the United States. And these tests each follow the same four general tasks. We prepare the workstation, collect the client sample, develop the results, and properly dispose of the used test kit and materials. In this video, we look at these four tasks using a rapid HIV test called or a quick advanced rapid HIV-1-2 antibody test. Use of trade names and commercial sources is for identification only and does not imply endorsement by the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. For specific instructions on each brand of test, review the manufacturer's insert. Begin by setting up your workspace with the items not included in the test kit. If using the or quick advanced test, you will also need an absorbent pad, a timer, a thermometer, disposable gloves, disinfectant wipes or 10% bleach solution, hand sanitizer, a biohazard bag, and a trash bag. Once you have gathered these materials, open both sides of the divided test kit package. Leave the test device inside its corresponding pouch for now, but remove the materials from the other side of the test kit and lay them out on your workspace. The kit will come with a test device, absorbent packet, developer solution, a reusable test stand, a customer letter, and a package insert. Before instructing the client on how to collect their sample, ask them if they have chewed gum, brushed their teeth, rinsed with mouthwash, smoked, or had anything to eat or drink within 30 minutes of taking the test. If they have, Wait to collect the sample until a full 30 minutes has passed. If they have not, then continue with the test. Place the test on your workspace, then gently uncap the container of developer solution, place the cap down on your workspace, and carefully place the container of developer solution into the stand, ensuring it's all the way at the bottom of the slot in the stand. Once you have prepared the client and the workspace for the test, the sample may be collected. Have the client put on disposable gloves and hand the open pouch to them. Ask them to remove the test device from its pouch. Instruct them not to touch the flat pad of the test device with their hands. Once the client removes the test device, have them hand back the test kit pouch. Take the pouch and feel for an absorbent packet in it. If the absorbent packet is missing, discard the test and start over with a new test. If the absorbent packet is present, begin with the test. Direct the client to place the flat pad above the teeth against the outer gum, and then have them gently swab around the outer gums, both upper and lower, one time around, using the flat pad. They should avoid touching the flat pad to the inside of their cheeks, tongue, or the roof of their mouth. Once the client has collected the sample with the flat pad, instruct them to place the test device into the developer solution, making sure the pad touches the bottom of the container. The read window on the test device should face out when in the vial so that it can be easily seen and read. Now, start a timer for developing the test. Refer to the test instructions for information on how long test development takes for the brand that you are using. For this test, set the timer for 20 minutes. After the appropriate time has passed, look for a line in the control area. This shows the test is working correctly. Now look at the test area. A line in the test area indicates a reactive result and is considered to be preliminary positive. A preliminary positive result should be confirmed with a follow-up test. No line in the test area indicates a non-reactive result and is interpreted as negative for HIV antibodies. A non-reactive result reliably shows the client's status as of 90 days prior to testing. A test can be invalid if there isn't a line in the control area. Even if you see lines in the test area or if the lines are not all the way across the strip, if you see an invalid result, use a fresh kit to run another test. After you discuss test results with the client, 
Dispose of the single-use materials in the appropriate waste containers. Discard the test, recapped developer solution and disposable gloves in a biohazard bag. Place the absorbent pad in the biohazard bag. If there are any spills, clean up with a 10% bleach solution. Thank you for viewing this video on conducting a rapid HIV test using an oral fluid sample. This video was developed by National HIV eLearning Centers for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention.